Hey guys, what's up? It's Robert. Um, got another cool unboxing for you today. This one is Misto Box, which is Coffee Box, which, if you're like me, is pretty exciting. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you might be watching the live stream of this now on Periscope, so wave to this Periscope people over there. <laughs> um, and let's get into the box. So, Misto Box is a box that reached out to me. They're very cool. They've had some um, awesome media coverage, and they've been doing really great for themselves lately. And I'm going to do two different things. I'm going to do this unboxing first and go through the different coffees and um, explain them to you and everything like that. And then I will um, do another half to this video later on, or tomorrow or the next day, whenever I can, um, where I actually go through and make some coffee, brew it for you, I'll do a little French press action, and um, a little relax and sip some coffee in the morning. So, um, Misto Box, like I said, is, um, is just delivered monthly to your door, and it has lots of different coffees in it. And they also sent me this awesome mug, which is a chalkboard mug so I can write down on the sides. They included a uh, Bistro chalk marker and also some regular chalk here. Unfortunately, I'm not very crafty or uh, well written, <laughs> so it's not going to come out that great, but I'll, I'll draw something on here. Um, I'll put all of the details for Misto Box in the description, so make sure you check it out there. And uh, tell my sent you. <laughs> so let's get into it. It's uh, definitely one of the thinner boxes I've ever gotten because it's just coffee, 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 all the way across. Um, they included an extra for me to try out on my own before unboxing this, but I didn't, so I can't comment on it. Um, but I will try it, and I'm thankful for the extra bag. I do love my coffee. So what we have in here is one, two, three, four different coffees. Um, we have the Crema, the Spy House, Onyx, and Verve. So um, each of them are a bit different. And on here, you can probably see, it says, Happy Brewing from your friends at Misto Box. It's a very simple design. It just has the, the coffee cups and stuff, but it's effective, you know. No need to make it anything other than what it is. And I like the consistent packaging with, like, the different um, attributes and stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of, like, a like a nutrition or medicine label. Anyways, um, let's get into it. I'll, I'll um, grab each of these one by one, and then I'll read through the different little cards they have here that detail the different roasts. So first, let's check out this one down here at the end. This one is called Verve. Um, so on the top here it says that the Verve is the coffee roaster. So that's the person who roasts the coffee. And then it has tasting notes here. It says orange zest, cherry, dark chocolate. The coffee, okay, so the, the names I read off earlier are just the names of the roasters. They're not the coffee blend itself. This is street level espresso. That's what the coffee is called. And it's from Santa Cruz, California. And the origin is Colombia. Cool thing about the Misto website is that they um, 
Misto Box website rather is that they have a lot of like educational stuff and other products and things like that. So you can learn a lot about coffee there. Let's um, check out what they have to say about the Verve coffee roasters. Okay, so this is the little card here. So it's uh, like an espresso on this side, and then on here it has like the picture of the, the place that it's from. Very uh, kind of modern looking, has the little pin symbol, which you might be familiar with on like maps. Santa Cruz, California. Um, what it's like. GQ magazine said this about street level espresso. A burly seasonal blend that packs muscle and spice. Might explain why so many surfers and Silicon Valley creative types are in line for it at 6 a.m. ends. Um, being sourced from two different regions in Colombia, and it's an espresso that was blended and roasted for the purpose of making espresso, um, but you can also enjoy it, enjoy it brewed as a regular coffee. That's perfect for me. Um, I have a French press and a coffee maker and an espresso machine, but I can't find a damn um, thing of a jig for my espresso machine. Um, about the roaster, Verve is one hip roastery. In fact, its first cafe is literally around the corner from some of the best surf in Santa Cruz. So, if you're a coffee head, this is definitely for you. Okay, let's uh, get into the next one here. Um, this one. Is by Onyx Coffee Lab. Tasting notes, chocolate, nutty, full-bodied. This coffee is called the um, Sugar Skull Blend, sourced from Guatemala, Colombia, and Peru. And it's a blend. Hometown is Fayetteville, Arkansas. So let's see what the card has to say about this onyx. Onyx just remind me that I've been um, watching Pokemon first and second seasons on Netflix, the original show, because <laughs> they added them on there. Anyways, so you can see uh, Sugar Skull Blend, a little picture of Onyx in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And they say what it's like. This surprisingly balanced blend gives the drinker notes of citrus alongside full-bodied chocolate and nutty flavors. An excellent everyday coffee that will leave you feeling cozy, warm, and surprised. Being sourced from Guatemala, Colombia, and Peru. Coffee type. Coffee is a blend, meaning different coffee beans are blended together to achieve tasty flavors. Cool, so this one's a little bit... Um, sweeter obviously make a good um, weekend cup of coffee I think my weekday coffee tends to be a bit stronger and blacker <laughs> I don't think that it's flavored though let me, let me take a sniff because they have little um, holes there you can smell it through Yeah, it just smells like, um, not, not sweetened or flavored, but I can see what they're saying with the chocolate and the nuttiness. Okay. Next up, we got Spy House. This is the coffee roaster. Um, this is the Division Blend. Tasting notes are brown sugar, caramel, and rich. The origin is Mexico and Peru. It's a blend, and the hometown is Minneapolis, Minnesota. So this is the one that I have 
two of. Interesting there. This one's a little looser pack than this one is. And it's starting to smell like coffee in here. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't have any because it's like coming up on 11 o'clock at night. It'll be bad news bears. So let's see what the uh, book or card has to say. Vision Bomb, Spy House. Um, so, brown sugar, caramel flavors make this the perfect amount of richness to accompany a flaky and sweet pastry or a hearty weekend breakfast shared with friends. Beans were grown. Oops, there's a typo there. <laughs> Gr Grulon. They switched the letters there. It happens. These beans were grown in Mexico and Peru. Both are organic and fair trade. Coffee type, this is a blend, so the coffee is from different regions and blend together to produce a balanced cup of coffee. Um, about the roaster, the owner of Spy House is super passionate about antiques and has acquired unique pieces for their three cafes. You can see a picture of it kind of here, and it looks pretty awesome, if that's the actual um, cafe. Okay, one more. Oh god, it smells so good in here. This one smells great. Actually, it's the Division blend that I'm smelling. Not this one. Oh. Okay, so this is uh, Coffee Roasters. Crema Coffee Roasters. Tasting notes are cantaloupe, mango, and honey. So this is a kind of a, on the sweeter side of the tastes. From origin Ethiopia. And coffee type single origin, so it's just from one place. And the hometown of the roaster is in Nashville, Tennessee. Coffee Roasters in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, what it's like, fantastically juicy with notes of cantaloupe, mango, and honey. The perfect for a fun dinner party, family meal, or a burst of brightness to start a Saturday morning. Being sourced from um, a coffee co-op in Ethiopia that sources coffee from about 800 area farmers. That's pretty cool. Coffee type, single origin coffee, meaning the beans are from one location and are used to make this perfect roast. About the roaster, search best coffee in Nashville, and this boutique is on practically every top 10 list. You can see a little picture of it right there. So, those were the coffees in the Musto box. Again, just to review, we have the uh, Spy House Division Blend, the Crema. Um, Ethiopia Mar Mara Ar Arama Ethiopia Arama as well as the Onyx Coffee Lab Sugar Skull Blend and the Verve Street Level Espresso I think the ones I'm most excited for are the Division Blend and the Street Level Espresso don't know that I'll like the uh, Ethiopia Arama one, but I'll give it a shot for sure. And the Sugar Skull Blend, like I said, will probably be a good weekend one. This just says the perfect morning has arrived. So I take their I take their packaging and their aesthetic. Um, they have different packages. Uh, some of them come with like a pour-over thing or 
you know, different trinkets and whatnot. They sent me this coffee cup, which is cool because I actually needed a new one. Um, my my heart one is getting worn out, and if you guys have seen that in previous videos, and I like having a good mug to use when I'm doing therapy. <laughs> So let's uh let's put my name on this one, shall we? Like I said, I'm gonna do the uh bistro marker instead of the chalk because the chalk might oh shoot. The chalk might have a grating sound. Or like a you know, nails on a chalkboard, chalk on a chalkboard, whatever. I'll get the flow going on the bottom here. I don't know how these work, but my wife does a lot of chalkboards, and this is what I always see her do. There is no way to shake quietly. I'm going to shake it and then I'll come back. Let's see if we can get this to work now. There we go. Okay. A second grader did it. <laughs> My mom will be so proud. There we go. Masterpiece in um, a month, less than a month, I'll be able to put doctor above that. <laughs> so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the Misto box and all of this stuff here. Like I said, um, I'm going to come back and tack onto the end of this video my um, brewing video. So stick around, I'll, I'll brew some to enjoy together. And like I said before, check out the details down below, and I'm sure I'll mention some more when I get around to recording that other part. Bye. Okay, so I'm just going to do some quick and dirty voice over here because the audio got messed up for these files. Um, but I'm just brewing my coffee here. Um, you should probably use filtered water and not tap water, but I'm lazy in the morning, so just boiling a kettle. I'm going to use the Spy House blend that I got in the Misto box. And I don't have a burr grinder, but I just have a normal spice grinder that I use. Try to keep it relatively coarse because um, really finely grained will go through the filter in the French press. Uh, this is called blooming. Just pour a bit in to cover up the grounds and then stir it or shake it to get out any like excess carbon dioxide and cold spots. Then you just fill it up slowly with your hot water. It's best to let it sit for a couple minutes after it's done boiling, just to let it come down and heat a little bit. All the way up, and then you could stir it again at this point if you wanted to. And then uh, just put the lid on top to keep the heat in. And you let that sit for four to eight, six to eight minutes. There's widely varying preferences. Uh, then when it's done sitting, you push the plunger down fairly slowly. Um, don't 
if you don't use all the coffee, don't let it sit in the French press for longer. Put it into a carafe or any other container because it will continue to brew and get bitter after a little while. So I like just a tiny bit of um, turbinado sugar and some whole milk in my coffee. Nice splash. And then I just uh, stir it up and enjoy. So hope you enjoyed watching me make my coffee and uh, hopefully if you get in the still box you enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs>